Hi guys. Is this not sponsored? Paper. So, oh, they add the onion to them. Over with cheese now. Well, they remember to remove that. Good. Um, wanted to talk to you about something. It's in the name of, uh, in the title of this video, so uh, it's kind of obvious what I want to talk to you about. There we go. Much less noisy. <sighs> Most of us in this world have faith. Our religion, or both, or same thing, if you ask. But then there's people that don't. The question is, how do you talk to them? Now, you can talk to them, I find, like anyone else. <laughs> um... I um, grew up in school that was uh, not Christian, so um, kind of used to the not talking, uh, talking to people that were not Christians. And it was only when I got to the college where I met my husband, where everyone was Christian. So I've since I've been a child, been used to um, not expressing myself much with my faith, and uh, the. M the older I got, the more my relationship with God and Jesus got, the more I got comfortable with expressing myself to even people at work and people um, well, anywhere else. I'm only thinking work because so far that's one of the only places uh, I talk to regularly that's not uh, Christian. Um, My family also, not my whole family, but some of my family are not Christians. Um, um, but then not just non-believers, then there's also people who, um, who talk like they know everything in a i don't know if it's manipulative way or what it is but it's in a way where you kind of feel like oh could i be mistaken and that's also a thing with faith i find we gotta really watch out not just who we talk to about it because some people will try to min well some people a lot of people will uh tr the devil will use to try to manipulate you were into not believing in it more because it's not facts or it's not logical or whatever weird things are. And those people, how do you talk to them? Um, the other day I had an encounter with someone, someone who I know, and uh, we were talking about faith. And this person, he uh, went that uh, my faith, oh, he didn't say my faith. I, he knows I'm a Christian, but we were talking about the Bible. And he was that the Bible was a folk's tale and that all this and that stuff and so on. And I got upset. I got frustrated. And I was like, oh, if I want to prove him so badly, I want to do this. And how dare you? This hurts. I want to cry. But then I stopped up and then I remembered. Uh, oh, well, um, then he used to talk about this with proof. And I was like, well, to have faith, you shouldn't need proof. But I know that things from the Bible have been uh, coming to the surface of the world now. So a lot more is being visual, like Noah's Ark has been found. Um, the stone, um, the big stone that Moses hit on so it would get water, that was found where there was proof of the water coming out of a stone from nowhere, and no um, fountain or anything, it just happened. And I believe also the stones for the Ten Commandments were also found, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But all these things. And then he says, well, you can't actually prove that it was Moses that had done that. And at the same time as I 
did try to say to him that you could prove. I believe you could prove that most did it. Then also, I was, I was reminded of a Bible verse. Um, I don't remember where it is. If you tell me in the comments of the video, if you want me to find that Bible verse for you, then I will. Um, where this rich man, I believe it is, he comes up to heaven. And then uh, God doesn't stay in heaven. But then uh, he's like, oh, wow, heaven is real. I didn't believe in it. Um, and then he asks God, can you please get someone to tell my friends that so they will stop doing bad stuff um and um where god said no if um if the prophets that came and that told the things if they're not enough nothing's going to be enough and uh it just remind me of that that you ask for proof but you asking for proof you're not actually asking for proof you just you, you're already set in where your thoughts are no proof is going to be enough because with the, what we're talking about you should need proof i mean do i have proof that uh, jesus uh, is real yeah with some things i've experienced but it's not something i can go around and show people why because we're talking about a spiritual world we're talking about the same thing as if I show you the wind was blowing here uh, and my you were in California or you were in North Korea or something, you'd only know the wind was blowing by me videoing where the leaves and so on, it was going on. But you wouldn't know the wind is blowing without anything n indirectly. Something needs to be there for you to see. And it's the same I find with God and the Holy Spirit and that, that... Um, you can't really um, prove anything because how do I prove to a non-believer of anything or someone who doesn't believe in anything at all that everything is just folk tales that uh, I have experienced the Holy Spirit, that I've had healing from him, I've uh, seen Jesus, or, like how would you explain those things? And some people are open and I've also met those people but some are closed and when they then say... I don't believe it's folktale, and I'm like, okay, but it's actually been proven. Well, what proof do you then have? They're, they're getting their guard up, you see. And and then you're like, well, I have this and this. Yeah, but there's no proof that that fits with that story. Then all you hear is, you actually just deny, you, you're just blinded by, um, what do you call it, denial of wanting to believe the truth, no matter what. And no matter what I say, no matter what Jesus himself um, well, I would almost say Jesus himself, but people actually uh, believed in him from that. But there's nothing I can do to make him believe. And the only thing I can do now is, um, what do you call it, pray for him that uh, he'll be open up for it. Like the Bible says, pray for your enemies. I mean, he's not my enemy. I don't find I have really any enemy of anything i just feel sorry for the people that did bad because like jesus said on the cross they uh, forgive them father for they know not what they do so it's a pray for your enemies even though they're not your enemies and forgive them because they know don't know what they're doing and that's where my emotions the way when you talk to people who don't who don't believe in that your emotions you might want to defend yourself and you get irritated and you get angry and so on but then you gotta just stop up yourself and just remember, in the faith I have, I have a book that tells me what to do. It tells me what to do in almost every scenario. Excuse me. Pretty much any scenario, and it's a book from the last many thousands of years. I just listen to what it says. And it says, pray for the people. Pray for them that doesn't believe and, if anything, feel sorry for the ignorant. Arrogant, I think it is. Yeah, so feel sorry for feel sorry for people who are feeling like they're, they're so up that no matter what I do, they it will not be proof enough. And those people might be close to you, they might be far away, but... The other thing that's powerful about conversations is you can stop them. You can simply stop up and just remind yourself, I have my faith. 
I can feel you are assisting, which means you are not going to listen to anything I hear. So, okay, let's stop this conversation. You don't have to walk away from them. Unless you want to cry, then uh, you can do that. If you want to walk away and cry, that's your choice. But you can also just talk about something else. And I felt also very emotional there. But I also reminded myself that emotions, they pass it with time short time and long time and that within that there's a lot of other things and even though i was feeling all those gitchy feelings i also had to remind myself marina calm down you don't need to do this god god's got this god's got this and then go and talk to them about something else like hey i don't want to talk about this anymore let's talk about something else or just start talking about something else randomly like, oh, by the way, how was it going with that? Or something. And if people are like, hey, that's spontaneous. Why? Yep. Yeah. So, what's up? And then you get on another note. Also, like they say, don't um, go to, or don't let the sun set on a bad argument. For me, it's the same with, should always try to finish things with a good setting, with a good mood. Like, also, when I argue with Michael and we fight, we always try or i definitely always try to either make things right or make us feel a bit less tense with each other before we stop the whole thing or before we go to bed depending because sometimes you do need a break from each other for some time which is fair enough but i just wanted to uh, talk about that with um yeah how to talk uh to people that don't believe and that uh Wants you to give them a lot about your faith, but don't want to hear. Now, there's also people who want to listen to you. Yeah. I, um... What do you call it? When I was, I don't remember if I was on education or like a tryout or what it was, but I was talking to some um, guys, some boys, and they were talking about this with angels and angels' wings. And I was, I just said, hmm, angels don't have wings. And they were like, okay. And I'm like, yeah, I've seen them, they don't have wings. And he was surprised with that, but in an open way. And how you tell the difference was he didn't go, no, well, it says that, and then, oh, they don't exist or something. He was like, oh, really? You, like, excitedly, really? I'm curious. You you saw an angel? What do they look like? And so on. And that, and that is the difference between, you should still watch out what you say to people and so on. But that's the difference between someone who is very close that you just need to end the conversation with at some point before you get too much into it because at the end of the day god's got you and he will deal with things and the other one who's curious and anytime you've had any experience with god no matter how small or big it is he um that that will be a testimony for them and who knows maybe that one little one minute talk or 10 seconds talk with someone or something people see something in you and that will be a testimony to help them find God and help them maybe get out of whatever difficulty they have. <sighs> well, hope that um, helped or was interesting. Well, see ya.